What's up guys, Kawazi here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool liquid text effect um, in Photoshop CC. You can use CS6 if you want to. Uh, anything below that though, you might have some difficulties, but CS5 you could probably pull it off. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to be in Photoshop CC. Um, I have my logo set up. You can have your, you can use text, a logo, whatever you, you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure it starts off as a standard black uh, logo or text. It could be white too, but I'm using black, so you might want to follow along. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go Control U on that layer. Make sure make sure it's rasterized, and we're gonna check colorize, increase the lightness, increase the saturation, and if you want, you can change the hue to change your color. But I'm keeping it at red because phase is red. That's their color. So yeah, then I'm gonna click OK. Uh, I'm gonna create a new layer. Go to the Pen tool, and zoom in a bit and uh, we're gonna create some gooey looking effects so to do this you're gonna click at a spot and click at another spot you kinda wanna create angles um, and then you wanna arc uh, arc a line and then click around click again and arc it inwards so it creates a effect that goes from uh, bigger to smaller to bigger but it's not symmetrical or anything and just like that and then once you do that you want to right click fill path go to uh, use in color select that red as your color click OK click OK right click delete path and then you want to add one or two more onto the first path so I'm going to add one here and alt click to dead that or stop that anchor point from curving and boom and then I'll add one like here right click Oop. make sure you don't have make if you have one of these paths selected and you go to fill it you'll see it'll come up as fill sub path you don't want that if you're doing multiple at a time you want just both of them so make sure not either one of them is selected so control and just click away um, so right click fill path color right click delete path boom there's our first goo effect and then you just want to repeat this wherever you see fit um, I suggest in big gaps like this you do not want to you kinda wanna keep it in smaller areas where it, it would make sense to be so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and yeah Okay, there we go. So you don't add too many of these, but just a few works. Um, I kind of have these very focused in the middle. I should have probably done one out here, but too late now. You guys got the idea. Just spread yours out a little better, and you should be fine. Um, next thing we're going to do is that new layer that we just have with all the goo, goo effects. We're going to right-click and merge that down to the main layer. And next, we're going to go to Filter liquify I believe liquify is in versions of Photoshop CS5 on up so if you're below that again it's gonna be difficult um, to get this effect but we're gonna go with a size brush of 22 and we're just gonna add drip effects like this and just vary them all in size so some just make big and long that's what she said um, others you can make short chubby whatever um, so just small one there, small one, thick one, okay. That's pretty good. You don't have to do too much. Uh, just a little bit is enough. Click OK. Um, and then we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Wave. And we're going to go Number of Generators, 1, Wavelength, 1, Max to the very top, Amplitude, Decrease it a bit. Uh, decrease the max just a bit and click OK and it'll create a slight little wave through the text making it look more, more liquidy and um, next step we're gonna do is uh, duplicate that layer uh, the duplicated one we want to double click on go to oh to duplicate you can just do control J on the keyboard by the way 
Uh, the duplicated layer, we want to go uh, double click on it, go to inner glow right there. Uh, set that to overlay, make the color white. Boom. Increase the size just a tad and decrease the opacity if it's a little too much. So that's that's good right there. Um, I'm just gonna hide the effects right there. And then the bottom layer, we're gonna go to that again. Control J to duplicate it. Bring that duplicated one to the top. And <clears throat> we're gonna control U. Make the, turn the lightness to 100. Click OK, so now we have, uh, it's like, it's we turned it white, okay. Um, then we wanna uh, hold and uh, click and hold control and click on the thumbnail of that layer and it will select it. Then we wanna go to select, modify, contract, four, click OK. Then we wanna control C, control V. It will create a new layer, go to the layer below that layer, delete it. So now we, you can see we have this white layer and it's just slightly smaller than the original red layer. Um, and then again, we wanna go to the white layer uh, click and hold control, click the thumbnail, select, modify, contract, four, and this time we're just going to click delete, control D to unselect, control J to duplicate, uh, hide the duplicated layer because we won't need that right now, um, go to the one below it that is visible, and we're going to uh, go to the eraser tool, and about 200 in size will work and just erase some spots of it. Just like that, and then set that to overlay. Boom. Now let's go to the top layer, make it visible, control U, make it black, and do the same thing, but just erase slight, uh, like more. Because I like to have more highlights than uh, shadows, so I like to erase more of the black and keep more of the white. So like that set it to overlay boom so now we have a subtle like um, highlight and shadow going around the logo and we're just gonna select both those layers right click create clip masks and we're gonna go back to that bottom layer control J duplicate it bring it to the top control U make it white control J uh, make it black Hide the black layer, go to the white layer, go to filter, distort, wave, and go to the number of generators, go to five. Uh, wavelength, you can the max you can bring down, and about, I'm gonna go right there. You can see there's a preview right here, so just look at that. And I'm gonna click okay, and yeah, so we get like a, it's pretty distorted. Um, and we're going to right click, create clipping mask of that layer, uh, right click, overlay, decrease the fill just a bit, double click on that layer now, go to drop shadow, and we're going to decrease the distance by one, so it's at four, and decrease the opacity to about 20, there we go and click OK and actually I think I'm gonna bump up the fill just a bit like that there we go and now we're gonna make the black layer visible and select it filter distort wave and now we're gonna change the amplitude a bit and change the maximum wavelength click OK so we don't want it to be the same as the white layer or else the, it'll be on the white layer and then it just looks stupid um, but then we want to do the same thing, right click, create clip mask, and what did we do here? 79%. We might have to decrease that a little more. So click overlay, yeah, decrease the fill percent, and about there. And I'm going to right click, copy the layer style of the layer below, paste layer style, and i got to decrease the fill again. Um, there we go. That works. So as you can see, it's like a liquidy effect with some like drop shadows. So it looks like there's some denty, like dents in there and stuff. Overall, it looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna create a new layer again. Right click, create clip ma clipping mask. Go to the brush tool. Make sure you have white selected, and just highlight some spots of this logo. Uh, make sure you highlight like all the gooey, gooey parts. Um, 
and anywhere else and set that to overlay <clears throat> excuse me and you can decrease the opacity just a tad um, and we're gonna create a new layer again right click create a clipping mask and this time we're gonna go with black and just do a few other spots Um, so there we go good enough decrease the opacity of that one like that there we go create a new layer right click create a clipping mask go back to the white and decrease the brush size and um, we're just going to maybe a little more we're gonna do uh, we're gonna put white at the tips of each of the dr like gooey drops whatever they're called and then add some highlights on the like spider webby goo things I, for, I just keep forgetting the names like the gooey string I guess you could call it and then set that to overlay there we go um, that might be a little too there we go actually I'm gonna keep it at 100 like that there we go that should be good and I'm sorry for saying there we go all the time it's just force of habit um yeah let me zoom out a little more and uh, I think that's good. Um, we're gonna select all of those. We're, we're gonna select that, that layer and all of its clipping masks. And uh, actually, let's select the bottom layer, right click, rasterize layer style. And now let's select them all, right click, merge layers, create a new layer, right click, create a clipping mask, and go to the white brush again, not that big, and just add some speckly spots click overlay boom there we go right click merge that down <clears throat> then we're gonna double click on that layer go to stroke select the color as that red and then you want to decrease uh, the like how dark it is so you want to make it a darker red and you make the size about one click OK there we go and we're gonna call this main now we want to go to that bottom layer we which we should still have you shouldn't have used that at any point and we're gonna to go to 3d new 3d extrusion from selected layer again if you're rocking with older Photoshop versions you're gonna to have to find an alternate method to do this we are not gonna to go to the 3d uh, workspace so click no and if your logo is centered in your document this should just work fine uh, if it's not you might have to rotate this 3d effect a bit um, but I'm just gonna let everything go and right-click rasterize 3d so now we have a nice 3d effect behind this layer and I'm gonna go control U, make it a little bit darker double click on it inner glow increase the size set it to overlay make it white click OK create a new layer right click create a clipping mask go to your pen tool and now we get to create this cool looking uh, light ish effect <clears throat> and what you do is uh, you find a spot so I'm gonna go like right here you're gonna select you're gonna click um, the top you're gonna go to the back uh, angle it off and then go to the top again and have it so it looks like it's starting from the back and coming towards the front and just growing in size so it should become further apart as it goes towards the front uh, of the logo in like a 3D effect. And we're gonna fill, actually we don't have to fill that yet, um, but you wanna do this to like a bunch of, like anywhere you, you want really. Um, so I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna go a few other places and I'll, I'll fast forward this for you guys. Okay, once you get it everywhere you want, um, you want to right click, fill path, uh, use for white, right click, delete path, go to your blend modes, go to overlay, decrease the opacity, and boom, voila. 
I decrease the opacity to about 35%, which will work. And that's basically the effect right there. There's a few more things you can do. So you could select everything. Right click rasterize layer styles. Right click merge. Go to control U. Increase the saturation. You can change the color. And um, the last thing I like to do is double click and just add a drop shadow. And that should be the effect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys put this uh, effect into use. Uh, if you do, be sure to tweet at me, at Quezzy. Be sure to follow me as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.